Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this uh, Gigabyte WinForce uh, GTX 760. Now this particular version is version 2 of the 760 from Gigabyte. The first version had a slightly different cooler and uh, different color PCB, I suppose a different PCB layout maybe as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this. Now this is first video of 3. In this video I'm going to show you the box, I'm going to show you what's inside, obviously show you the card in detail and uh, in the second video I'm going to show you how to install the card in the computer case and in the third video obviously I'm going to do some benchmarks on it. So let's get started. The box looks like so, um, so WinForce cooling solution, uh, OC version obviously, OC Guru software included. Obviously download the latest one from um, Gigabyte website, same goes for the drivers. 2 Gigabyte of GDDR5. Now memory wise it's the same uh, type of speed as GTX 670. It's actually very familiar to GTX 670. The only difference is probably the lesser CUDA cores. However it has a faster clocks on it so it kind of compensates for that. So 256 bit uh, memory up from the that of GTX 660 Ti has obviously HDMI display port and uh, DVI maybe one more because it's supposed to support four uh, connections of display we'll see later PCI Express 3.0 however it, it will be backwards compatible with previous versions DirectX 11 and memory I mentioned that now on this side there's not much nice shiny things on the box overall box is quite nice guys i haven't used the gigabyte products before so i'm pretty impressed so far okay here um, we have more information basically pci express 3.0 and all that and how the cooling solution works so two fin stacks along with two heat pipes going through and three coolers and it's obviously direct uh, heat pipe touch. Now I did hear that previous uh, cooler on the 760 from Gigabyte had three heat pipes. However, I can't 100% confirm it because I didn't have that one myself. It obviously requires either one eight pin or if I'm not mistaken, two six pin connectors for the car. We're gonna see that once in a sec. And 500 watt power supply and it's Windows 8 obviously as Windows 7 compatible. So let's see what's in the box. Now since I'm used to ASUS packaging, it looks quite similar. Now obviously the card would be revealed straight away. And guys, I'm gonna annoy you a little bit. I'm gonna put the card to the side and see what else is in inside before we proceed. So we have just a cover, we have obviously these type of connectors, so it's a, let's see, 8 pin and 6 pin connectors going into two Molexes, so in case you need them, they're inside. We have a quick guide of installing and such, and we have, I suppose, the graphics, uh, oh yeah, driver and should be OC Guru software. However, you should download that separately just to maximize it. So as you see, very nice packaging. Um, I'm surprised how few things there are in the case, um, considering the size of it. And the good thing, obviously, it's well protected by this foam. So I'm going to close the box now. I'm going to put all the, these things aside and I'm going to show you the card in a second. And here we are guys, finally the Gigabyte WinForce 3 fan solution. This is version 2 once again for you guys who are interested. So as you see it has a different shroud. The shroud is metallic, yes I can confirm that. Uh, as opposed to plastic uh, used in the first version of this GTX um, 760. Now here's the side view from the, well bottom view I suppose technically. And here's the back view. Now on the back as you see we have black PCB. Now in terms of the size the PCB itself is 25 and a half centimeters or 10 inches and if we go from the front to the back 
the whole shroud thing is about 28 centimeters or 11 inches. So why I'm saying this, for some of you guys, this could be an issue in the case because simply it's a long enough card. Now, some of the GTX um, previous versions basically could be even that long. And I think Asus produced a version of this card, which is much shorter. However, I don't really like the looks, unfortunately, of that particular model. Anyway, so let's go ahead. So basically, as you see, the, all the shroud and cooling mounts on these four bolts. So if you undo them, that should come off. You might need to undo them three as well. Now on top, what we have here is a six pin and an eight pin. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it accepts two six pins or one single eight pin, just like EVGA and some others. So that shouldn't be a problem. Now it also has two SLI connectors. I won't be using them because I am actually going just with single card. That's plenty for me. But as you see, it can be used in the dual or three-way SLI. On this side, there's not much, guys. It's just uh, not, heat pipe is not even protruding. So it's just a fan that's going a bit over. Not a bad thing. But once again, for some of you uh, guys, it might be too long. So you might need to do some modifications on your case. And as you see, we have standard uh, DVI, we have DVI um, analog and digital. So I'll be using obviously this digital only. And you have a HDMI as well. So three displays already. And then you have a display port, uh, which is pain in the neck for me at the moment because I don't have any cables for it. But anyway, so technically you can connect uh, up to four displays. And the way you connect it is three would be for gaming and the fourth would be for, I don't know, your monitoring software or whatever else you want to use. So that's the card really, guys. There's not really much more to it. Uh, what you see is what you get. So this video is pretty much over. Just going to show you inside for those of you who are interested. I might do some close up shots as well. As you see these heat pipes and fins. So overall a very nice card. I expect it to be quite capable card as well. And by the way, one more thing I nearly forgot is another dimension. So from the insert part would be about 12 centimeters. However, that would go in the motherboard. So the actual um, height of the card would be about 11 and a half centimeters tops or four and a half inches for those of you guys who really stuck with the spacing case and yeah guys that's it um as i said it should be very capable card there's plenty of cooling here for the ram modules as well as for the gpu we're gonna see how the card performs when, I, when we're gonna put it in my computer case which is gonna be video two and video uh, three respectively so yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them at the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to more videos and have a nice day.